What's up gamers, the Ascent release today. Is it worth it or is it going to be a failure? Find out next. All right gamers, let's jump right in. The Ascent has finally released. Yes, we have seen this game at E3. It got everyone excited. It is the cyberpunk adventure that we have all been looking for. So if cyberpunk 2077 and Diablo had a baby, it would be The Ascent, and that is definitely a good thing. So let's discuss story really quickly. Imagine a mega corporation in the future that has collapsed, that owned you and everyone else, and now everyone that is part of this world is trying to get their stuff together and figure out how to survive and deal with the chaos that has occurred. Now, I will start by saying, in the beginning, when I started this game, I was a little worried because as you begin the game and you start building out your character, and that's one of the things you see right here. I gotta tell you, the visuals for the characters, your avatar, you know, they, they leave a lot to be desired. You know, they look pretty bland. I mean, they give you a lot of options. Of course, you could change the hair and the face, um, your outfits, you can change the face ink, your body ink, but it, it, it's not very robust. There's not tons of options. So don't think this is going to be like Cyberpunk or, or any of these other games where you can spend a ton of time customizing. I mean, you're gonna see the, the differences aren't that great. Now, getting that out of the way, my worries were still in the air when I started because the tutorial stage, the stage that opens everything up, it's a little bland, but I will tell you, it, it looked great. Like the environments looked fantastic. I was worried that it was just gonna be this, you know, endless father and I would just be walking around for hours, running into one or two enemies here, there. And that was the case in the beginning, but that was just the precursor, kind of getting your feet wet, understanding how the system works. And, you know, I, I gotta tell you, like, when you think about what they did for a small developer, I mean, it, it's fantastic. A lot of people wanted to scratch that cyberpunk itch. Uh, you know, CD Projekt Red had us excited for a long time. That release did not go as expected. And so we've been waiting and waiting for something to kind of fill that void until CD Projekt Red gets, you know, their patches in and, and fixes their game. But let me tell you, I, I love it. I love this, the view of the game. I love how it looks once you get started and you're out of the tutorial stage. It is an amazing, amazing world. Now I will say I'm generally not a tutorial kind of guy. I like to jump right in and just learn the ropes, but I will tell you I got punished for trying to do that and I started paying attention because there were little nuances in the game that I didn't know. You know, if you play twin stick shooters, I was holding my left trigger and uh, using the right trigger to shoot and I didn't realize that that creates an elevation to your shot so this way you can shoot folks that are like coming down the stairs. And so I was missing a lot of the early enemies and it was a little crazy because I was getting frustrated. I was like, what is going on here? And it was just because I bypassed the tutorial part that explained this to me. And so my word of advice is pay attention to t the tutorial. It is pretty deep. There's a lot going on now. I'm, I'm gonna be upfront you know it can be a little bit intimidating in the beginning if you are not someone that's used to all these menu systems and taking care of so many different parts of your character but if you're someone that's played again like the diablo series and, and series of that type then you will definitely uh get accustomed to it pretty quickly and of course if you play the witcher and things like that you definitely know um what i'm talking about when it comes to a management system that's robust and requires a lot of thought uh, and care when you're doing your loadouts and your buildouts and i will say it is pretty cool that just like diablo as you load out different equipment and shirts and jackets and visors and all these crazy things uh, they do appear real time in real world in the game and so it, it does feel like your investment 
into collecting this loot is worthwhile. And, and the loot collection, it's not like a lot of these isometric, uh, you know, Diablo clones. You're not gonna see loot dropping every five seconds. You're not gonna pick up epic weapons every five seconds. Um, from what I saw, it felt like it was a little sparse, right? It took a while for me to just even pick up uh, the equivalent of a machine gun or a battle rifle. And that definitely did make my life a lot easier. I, I did get beat up a few times, but the one thing I did like about the game was it's very forgiving with its death system. So when you die, it, for the most part, spawns you very close to where you were or the exact spot. And I, I didn't see a penalty so far. So all the credits I collected, the weapons I collected, um, you know, any, any special items that I collected, in that time frame before I got killed, uh, it was persistent to the game, and so I didn't have to go do all that all over again, which is great. So that actually is a joy when you want to pick up and play, and there's a, a couch play op co-op option and an online uh, play option as well. So it's very, very close to, like I said, Diablo, but the Cyberpunk edition, and that's great. And if you're a fan of Blade Runner and those type of movies, and you've been looking for something to scratch that cyberpunk itch, this is definitely it. I've been having loads of fun playing this game. Now, once you get past that tutorial stage area, the game really opens up, and it's just beautiful to look at. I mean, it is alive and well, this world, it feels like it exists without you being there and um, as much as I like Night City this is definitely something that just feels like a real cyberpunk world that you're in I mean the, the nightlife there's just tons of stuff going on lots of conversations it is crazy what they've packed in to this over-the-top isometric type game um, you know, even Diablo didn't have this many NPCs roaming around. And the cool thing about it is you have these factions, you'll walk around this ginormous, ginormous map, it feels like, that uh, is almost endless. And you don't know if folks are going to shoot at you, if they're not going to shoot at you. You know, the battles can start out of nowhere. You can find yourself caught in a bad situation very quickly. And all your standard fair is there for rpg of course you have your armor upgrades your weapon upgrades your power upgrades uh you have the equivalent of a surgeon of course just like cyberpunk where they can help you with your implants remove things that you've added your augments etc and finally of course you know there's those weapon upgrades that you can pick up points for um so on top of the credits on top of skill points that you could pick up these are the things you will use to advance your character in the game, especially when you're leveling. Now, the whole world is fully interactive. In fact, there were things that I missed just because I wasn't expecting to be able to do anything with parts of the environment. You can turn off neon lights, you can blow up canisters, you could shoot walls down. I mean, there's just so much that you can experiment with in this world that they've created. And my gosh, you really have to uh, nod your head to the developers behind this because for them to create such a lush world, so vibrant, so colorful, uh, you know, it, it, it's a feat on its own. And I really feel like this is one of those silent winners that folks won't know about. And I think Microsoft was very smart in locking this title down uh, for some exclusivity, at least for Game Pass, because this is one of the reasons why you want Game Pass. It's games like this that make it worthwhile. You know, the, the other game that I've seen out there by uh, Devolver, Death Store, and we're gonna do a review on that uh, shortly. My gosh, the, the, the indie developers are really starting to kill it out there and they're starting to pressure these AAA developers and let them know like hey you guys are gonna have to step up your game so while we have all types of things going on right now in the AAA world I mean it feels like each one of these AAA companies are embattled or embroiled in, in some type of scandal 
you know, indie developers are actually stepping up and filling that void and filling it the right way. I mean, this is just such an amazing game. It's just fun. It's fun and it's, it, I will say, if there's another gripe that I have, and there are very few gripes that I have with the game, but the voice acting I think could be better. I don't like the way they've portrayed it. And I don't know if it's because the character models, when, when you switch to those views, those close-up views, don't seem like, you know, they, they don't seem like cutting edge, right? They don't seem like the current gen that we're in, but that's fine. That's fine because the rest of the world, when you are actually playing, looks amazing. Everything looks amazing. And every little piece of the environment feels like it's interactive. And that's huge for a game like this. It's, it's fantastic. There are very few games that can stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with the behemoth that is Diablo. We are, we're talking about Path of Exile and Torchlight. I think those are the only ones that, that do that series any justice and can, can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with, with the big gun that is Diablo. But this definitely is your futuristic Diablo. Honestly, I don't think there's any game out there that comes even close to to this right now it, it's just so much fun you know it some moments can feel like smash tv especially when you're when you're just getting surrounded by tons and tons of um enemies but you know i mean that's what makes it unique you, you just you get yourself in these situations where they're high octane and you're running around and you're trying to not get destroyed and it reminds me of going after the mobs in Diablo uh, 3 and in Diablo 2 and it, it can get a little crazy. Uh, there is no system that's built, I'd say, the same way for, for doing these like hordes, but you know what they have built here is fantastic and I think if they can get some DLC out the door, I'd be the first one in line to get this. This is definitely one of the sleeper hits of the summer. I kind of knew this was going to be awesome from the second I saw the trailer. Uh, you know, I think the closest game that I can think of that's like this is Ruiner, which was another amazing uh, title, but I actually like this more. I think this world is a little more fleshed out. It feels a little fuller. It feels way more interactive, and so... I think what Ruiner started, um, this definitely takes it to the next level, you know, and you should, if you have Ultimate Game Pass, go download it right now, uh, get it on Windows PC, do what you have to do. This is definitely a game that you can get and you won't regret. You're going to enjoy it. You're going to love it. You know, I can't think of too many other titles, like I said, that are stepping up to the plate the way this has. There are plenty of side quests plenty of main quests to go after you know your mileage may vary what you want to do but this game definitely packs a punch for you and it will definitely give you a lot of play time and it'll be good play time i you know i haven't felt at all encumbered by the system or or anything so far in the game the boss battles are are you know i mean i will say they're not the greatest in the world but they're good enough i enjoy them you know it's hard after playing so many games to find something that's so new that you're like wow that's super amazing but as the complete package this game does it all right folks i'm that game dragon subscribe hit that notification bell so you get all our content leave your comments below and like this video and as always be kind to one another and i will see you next time